Now about the football. Giants went six and ten last year. It was probably you know one of your toughest seasons as a pro. Archie, you were on a lot of Saints teams in the early days that, you know, 6-10 six six and and was, was probably good. pretty good. 6-10 <laughs> and ten would have been good. I'd like to Were you able to talk to Eli last year, give him advice during that season when the Giants were struggling? You know, I, I really don't. I mean, Eli's played for a long time, and uh, he, he works hard during the week. You know, that's the thing about pro football. Regardless of what happened last Sunday, you got another opportunity the next Sunday. But it, it's a lot of work that goes into it. And... Yeah, sure, the week passes quicker when you win a game than when you lose it. You want to play again. You want to get, but you know it takes less. So he's experienced. He's going now. He's going into his 12th uh, year. Kind of hard to believe. Peyton going into his 18th year. That makes me feel old. But um, I, I don't have a lot of advice. He's he's played the game. He knows what it takes. To, uh, he's been on winning teams. He's been on championship teams. So he knows what it takes. And that's what he's working at now. He's experienced that. And he wants to do it again. You know, the Victor Cruz injury last year was obviously a devastating, you know, point for the team, but it sort of opened the door for Odell Beckham to emerge, and now you're going to have both these guys next year if everyone's healthy. Are you excited to be throwing to that caliber receiver? Definitely, definitely. I think having Odell and Victor on the, on the field at the same time to go along with Ruben Randall and Larry Donnell and a lot of the weapons that we already have is going to be exciting, and, and I think the the great thing about Odell and Victor, uh, especially those two guys, they're so versatile. They can play in the slot, they can play outside, sometimes we put them in the backfield. So we'll get to move those guys around and try to create matchups and uh, you know, try to keep everybody happy. We got a lot of weapons on offense. It's going to be my job to try to spread the ball around and keep everybody uh, happy and make sure that everybody's getting lots of catches and, and hopefully uh, we're able to score lots of points and, and, uh, and, and have a big year. You, know, you mentioned Peyton's 18th year. Do you think this is finally the last year for him? Well, I think if Peyton can stay healthy uh, and has a good year, he, he, probably, he might probably want to play uh, some more. You know, last year, uh, Peyton, other than the year he missed with four neck surgeries, Peyton's been very fortunate, as has Eli, to stay healthy and, and play. And last year, really, for the first time during the season, Peyton was hurt. And he had to play, you know, like the last four games. And he couldn't do what he wanted to do. And uh, I think... Uh, uh, he, he didn't want to hang it up, but uh, he, he knows he's in the fourth quarter. He knows he's toward the end, and the main th key thing is to stay healthy. You know, he's going just like Eli last year. He's going, going through a new offense, which is probably not ideal in your 18th year to have to learn a new offense, but he's approached it. He's attacked it. Uh, he's, he's in great shape. He's ready to go, so hopefully he can stay healthy, and, and uh, they'll have another good year. Finally, with regards to Peyton, you guys both went to Ole Miss obviously. Last October, Ole Miss beat Tennessee 34-3. to How did that go over in the Manning household? Yeah, Peyton, he's, uh, he, he wasn't real happy. He was he didn't quiet, have a that, lot week. To say. quiet he, that week. Quiet that week. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't call me that week. It was yeah. kind of surprising. I didn't, get a, I didn't get a call before, you know, after that game. But uh, Peyton loves his school, as Eli and I, uh, we, uh, we love our school. But we, but, you know, I, I, Livy and I had four great years going up to Tennessee and following him when he was there. So, and uh, he he strongly believes, and and I agree with. It. I think Tennessee's coming back. They got the right coach there now. So, it's fun. It's hey, it's in the Southeastern Conference. That's a tough league. Tough league.